Welcome, Executive Ken Allman, on behalf of my brother Gene and I, Maple Lawn Farm, for the Farm City celebration, job exchange. Job exchange. Uh, we had a couple, I believe we had four or five people from uh, the schools, Glenelg and the local schools around here, they came down and cleaned all our box stalls out. So they saved you from cleaning all right. the box stalls out. <laughs> However, you got to feed the calves. All right, let's do it. You got to feed the calves over here. The baby calves will be fed by Ken this morning. Oh, that's a Make sure the milk gets down right. Oh, that's good. Now you're going to have to hold the bottle because they'll hump. They'll, they'll go like this. You know, usually a calf, when they nurse, they nurse, and if no milk comes out, they go like that. The cow will let the milk down when they're baby. You're going to do this. Yeah, the way do they did And they yeah, they will. That's, all right. That's funny. They have top, bottom teeth, but not top teeth. Right. And they never will. Oh, this one? Right there. Put that up here at this end. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. There you go, Good bud. Hello, turkeys! <laughs> like walk up like king of the turkeys. Like, hello, my people. They're all like moving over. It's like I'm giving a speech. This one right here said that blue cheek blue cow. Oh, okay, got it. My other experience this morning that uh, that will stick with me um, in kind of a troubling way, I think, for a while is uh, after we fed the uh, the calves. You know, a couple weeks old, or are they two, three weeks old? The cows we fed. Um, after they were done, uh, and, and you know, farm folks in the room will wonder, like, you didn't know that. But uh, <laughs> after we fed them, uh, did you know that they suck each other's faces? If you keep, if you don't separate them, uh, it was uh, it was a pretty wild experience to see. <laughs> and I, I was, uh, I kept looking around. Is this normal? And. Uh, you know, tell them to get a room somewhere or something, but uh, it was uh, pretty intense. And then we got to feed them something else and pull them apart, so that was good. They started off great. I was up early waiting for Greg here to pick me up, and you know, it was a great day. He took me down there. I got to meet everybody in the office and sit at Ken's desk and, you know, look at his ball, see all his pictures in there. And, you know, we walked out to the, uh, to the police uh, headquarters there right next door, and, you know, First thing I saw was they, they had uh, signs of all the fallen officers, and you know that, that touched me. It's a really neat thing. I'm glad they do that. And walked through and met the met the chief of police and met the uh, sheriff and went down and you know they showed me how they check ballistics on on guns and and uh, a lot of things that I'm interested in. You know I wanted to do something that I don't see every day that I I really. You know, they were always a role model to me, you know, the police, fire, and rescue, so I thought it'd be neat to do that. Uh, we finished up there, and we headed over to the Roby building. Man, what a what a beautiful place. I never knew it was back in there, way off the beaten path. The, they train all the uh, officers and, uh, you know, firemen. I think that's real special. It looks like a place where, you know, the state guys will want to come out and use, or the federal guys want to come out and use. Really neat. And uh, we got to do some simulated shooting there, and uh, uh, the firemen, they also... Uh, had a lot more fun than I <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 got to, we got to take down a... Uh, we got to cut open a door on a, on a Jeep, too, the firemen. We got out to... Uh, the jaws of life and broke down. It was me. It was me. And so some of them same guys who were teaching me how to work their equipment today, they were the same fellows that came and, you know, put my field fire out when the combine caught on fire. And I remembered them. I said, hey, I saw you a few years back. You know, you helped me out. And I appreciate that. And, you know, the fast-paced world that we all live in today, everybody's in a hurry, you know. They want to get down the road pass that tractor and they're late to their luncheon but you know you gotta think about and 
stop and realize the priorities and you know the people that help you out and take care of you and that's really why I want to go see the police and the firemen here today you know so thank them next time you see them go by and I sure did thank them today and thank you guys for coming out and, you know quite a day appreciate it